Hi there, I'm a very heavy nonfiction reader and the only reason why I can remember anything I read from these nonfiction books is because of an app I use called Readwise. Now I talk about Readwise all the time on my channel, but all the time I get comments from people telling me they don't wanna get it because it costs $8 a month. Now I get it, monthly subscriptions are very, very annoying, but I'm a big believer in paying for things that improve your life, especially when it comes to convenience. And honestly, Readwise has gotten to the point where I can't read books on my Kindle without it because it plays such a central role in my note-taking system. Today I want to talk about 10 different features of Readwise that make it absolutely worth the investment if you're on the fence of getting it. Before jumping into those 10 tips though, I should mention that I am a Readwise affiliate. I have a link down below if you want to get an extended free trial, but I will say they have no sponsorship with me whatsoever. They have no control over what I say, so I am an independent customer as well. I just love their service so much. The first feature of Readwise is the number of sources they have available for import. You can connect so many more things than just your Kindle to Readwise. Things like Twitter, Instapaper, Pocket, Medium, any other website online that really supports reading, you can probably connect it to Readwise and sync all your highlights into one central place. That's why I rely on Readwise so much everything I highlight across every service ends up in this one place. The second feature I wanna talk about is their export capabilities. This is a huge, huge deal because you actually get to own all your highlights if you use this feature. When you hit the export button, you can connect it to Evernote, Notion, Roam, Obsidian, all the major note-taking apps. You can get all your highlights exported into those apps continuously all the time, which is the best thing ever. You can customize even a more robust workflow using your note-taking app outside of Readwise. The next feature I want to talk about is the daily review. This is probably the most important feature that Readwise has to offer, and that's because it lets you review your highlights that you're taking on a regular basis. What's the point of taking highlights and notes if you aren't going back to review them? Yeah, there are ways to do this without paying for Readwise, but if you don't have the discipline to do it or don't remember to do it, you're not gonna do it. Readwise removes all the friction required to review your highlights and notes. The way it works is Readwise will actually email you every single day with five random highlights. And at this point, you just check your email and review the highlights. It works so seamlessly and you get constant review of books that you may have read months or years ago. And you're constantly reviewing that knowledge to make sure you don't forget those important insights that you're learning. This next feature of Readwise is also one of my favorites. It's the streaks and stats feature. What it lets you do is build a streak out of your daily reviews and gamify the entire process of going back and looking at your notes. How cool is that? What other service makes it actually fun to review your notes? And this is something I really, really rely on because it encourages me not to miss a day with reviewing my highlights. On the stats page, you can see things like your daily review count for your streak, your weekly highlight streak, so it encourages you to keep highlighting in the books that you're reading, and you also see the total number of highlights you've taken across all your books. This next feature is something I haven't seen anywhere else and it's the ability to actually recover streaks. Every other app and service I've used, if you miss a day on your streak, you are SOL, you lose your streak. With Readwise, you have a seven day grace period. For me, I know I rely on this because sometimes I'm traveling and I just don't want to be plugged into my phone or my computer, so I check my reviews later. And this is something that me stay on top of my streak while still making sure I have a mindful experience. This next Readwise feature is definitely more advanced, but if you're a heavy note taker, it will make your life so much easier. And that's the ability to tag your highlights while you're taking them. Say you're reading a book and you come across a book recommendation from the author that you want to capture. You can highlight it and hit the dot button and enter the word want to read. It'll make a want to read tag in your Readwise account. And you can actually abbreviate this to WTR it'll actually realize that on the back end and that'll be the shortcut for doing that. Later on, you can go back to the Readwise website and see all the highlights that have this tag and have a very compiled list of books that you want to read. This works for other things too. If you want to categorize your notes by different topics, you can easily make tags while you're reading 
on the fly, right on your Kindle. This is a life-changing thing for people who take a lot of notes. Along the same lines of tagging, this next feature is very similar. I'm talking about the heading tags in Readwise. If you're like me, you probably like to format your notes, making sure they look nice and neat. When I'm reading, every time I stumble across a new part of the book, I tag it as H1. The next chapter of the book will be tagged as H2, and a subheading within a chapter is tagged as H3. When I go into my Readwise website, Right now I'll see the book nicely organized with all the highlights underneath the correct heading as well as when they get exported to Evernote everything is nicely formatted this just makes so much more sense when you're going back to review your notes you can clearly see which highlight goes under which chapter it makes your life so much easier this next feature is very similar to the special heading tab we just talked about if you're highlighting something and you want to highlight two different things and connect them together on the back end you can actually tag each highlight with C1 and C2, and then Readwise will know to combine those two tags. It stands for concatenate, and it really makes a big difference if you're reading a chapter with little points all over the place, you wanna combine them into one giant highlight. You can do that very easily with the concatenate tag. Next up, we have the leaderboard aspect of Readwise. Now, we already talked about gamification with streaks, but leaderboards take this to a whole new level. You can actually compare against other Readwise users to see how you stack up with your daily review streak, but the other streaks that I like to follow are the Twitter leaderboards. You can actually see which Twitter users have the most readwise saves. This is actually kind of a hidden leaderboard that they have that you have to search for on Google. But once I found it, I was so interested to see all these amazing Twitter accounts that are posting really insightful things, and I got to follow some new people. That was a really cool feature that I didn't know about before. This last feature is all about integrations. Readwise is super, super friendly when it comes to third-party apps and integrating them all together. One of my favorite connections is from Mailbrew. I have a whole video talking about this app. It basically takes all my news, email newsletters, and any other Twitter users and stuff that I want to compile into a daily review email into one central place. I can actually add in my Readwise highlights into this Mailbrew email as well and centralize everything into one email. It makes your life so much cleaner. They also have a Goodreads integration, which is very handy for books you may be reading on a paperback format. You can actually get the most popular highlights from those books connected over to your Readwise account. So even if you aren't highlighting things, Readwise will still send you highlights from that book that they think you might be interested in. That is super, super handy too. I also really appreciate how they have a public API documentation. So anyone who can code can make Readwise apps if they want and integrate with them. There's a whole section on their website for this link for that down below too. Those are my 10 tips for using Readwise and why I think it's worth the investment. If you enjoyed this video, you'll probably also like my video with 18 secret Kindle features that'll make using a Kindle so much more fun. Link for that on the screen right now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.